Launch pad soon. Finally. <sighs> Still with me? Holding up? Uh... Myers just doesn't let up, does she? She has made her life about achieving goals. Turned herself into a kind of machine. Wow. You admire her. The pushing forth, never looking back, used to piss me off. Now, wish the future was all I could think about. Listen to the hum. Wish I could fall asleep, never to wake again. So me? Reed. Had a dream about him recently. I repeat. Same damn nightmare. About that same damn train. Him dying because of what I did. Just a bad dream, Song. I had my orders. I executed. Orders from Myers. Sounds ridiculous now. Years on, he's still her loyal hound. And I can't get away fast enough. History. Water under the bridge. Not worth dwelling on. Hmm. I can't stop thinking about it. Myers gave the order. Treated you like her tool. Song? It's not the only one I've betrayed. Mine's wandering, Song. Black wall, gotta be. Neural Matrix V can only be used once. Once? How so? It's a captive AI from beyond the wall. Relies on continuous evolution to exist. I'll free it and end the process. It'll then execute my commands and disintegrate irretrievably. Well, hey, what about me? Not obvious. You'll fight on. Keep looking. You're stronger than I am, V. Stronger than anyone else I know. Serious? I... I think... I think... I'm gonna die soon. The regret... I wasn't honest with you. I'm sorry. Could have told me the truth. Would have helped you anyway. Song? What did he fuck? Color me impressed. Bird took everyone for a ride. Myers, Hanson, Reed, you. Not the first time somebody screwed me sideways. I still think I can walk, though. Ah, your attitude to what life sends your way. So touching sometimes. Woman did you hard and rough, though. Got the right to feel rage, want to rip her head off. But she stuck it out to the very end. That commands respect. Fuck all that. Thing is, you and me are back at square one. Still have that problem. Finding some way to save ourselves. Could always call Reed on the hollow. <laughs> Think he'd kill me. Damn, globe-sized ego, V. You mean zilch to him. One, just one person he's gunning for. 
Well, nice to drop in and shoot some shit, V. High time you woke her, though. Damn sorry, Song. I am. But you ticked me first. What? Songbird. Still want her? Huh. Turning your back on her now. Okay. Name your price. I'm all ears. Want just one thing. To survive. Live on. Just one dose. One instance of the cure exists. Song decided to keep it, but left me with nothing. I see. So Songbird for me, and one dose for you. Need the cure and the rippers who know how to use it. Mention contacts in Europe. Personal ones. In Europe? At Langley, too. The NUSA specialists are top of the game. They'll pull the data for you, then operate. Do we have a deal? Deal. Take her. But don't fucking let me die. Launch pad's in sight. Almost there. I know. I'm waiting. Wakey, wakey. End of the line. Come on. Time to go. Turned out to be a straight con. Well, not worth dying for. Betrayed Myers? You? Then came my turn. She was my friend once. Who she is today, I don't know. And I won't be the one to judge her. Proud. Taking you home, so Taking you home. Area secure for landing. No, you will not do that. We grab the girl and go. Hmm. Thought about how you're gonna spend your 30 pieces of silver? I'll be in touch. Don't keep me waiting. Damn good care of song, Reed. You owe her that. And you do well to forget her. And all of this, time. was just thinking to myself. Were you now? Dunno, I mean, fuck. Now I kind of feel sorry for the chick. Not thinking about her. Thinking about yourself. You're in your end. Healthy egotism, I'd call it. No, just wanted to say that woman had the shittiest fucking luck in life. Shitty luck's what I ran into at Compeki Plaza. Wanted to fly high, too close to the sun. Both of you. Yet, as an ancient Chinese proverb says, ain't no jumping over your own ass.
Yago, reconsider. As indeed. Also, Voodoo Boys are out of the equation. Splendid. Have you anything else to add? Actually, yeah. Yago claims Bennett and Arasaka are fucking. 
A man with his balls in a vice makes many interesting sounds. A fixer, however, separates fact from the spewings of a panicked soul. My concern now, not yours. Still, I thank you for telling me. When now? Time to pay tribute to the fallen. Aguilar will attend Hansen's funeral service and ensure a smooth transfer of power. Uh-huh. Sounds like you expect trouble. Such events can trigger geysers of raw emotion. No two people grieve alike, and rarely rationally. Ceremony and wake both at the Black Sapphire. Aguilar should enter without a hitch. Got it. Leroy more. Vive le roi. Good luck, V. Trouble, Reed? No, nothing's wrong. No trouble. I'm on my way out of Night City. We'd like to meet up, face to face. Troop to a station out South Caliway. Reed? Okay. Good. Nick of time. Minutes on, you'd have found my tracks. That's it. In a hurry to get out of Dodge? Should have warned me. We might have just missed each other. Maybe I was hoping for that. I'm needed in D.C., or so I'm told. Long ass way to drive, June. Well. Trains just rub me wrong. Besides which, I need time to think things through. Lots of things, lots of time. Open road for the quintessential introvert. To solve some problems on your own. Not all of them. I did call you. Drag you out here. Okay, Reed, what's on your mind? What you need from me? I can't sleep, I'm trying to break things down. Keep asking myself, and I don't know, but maybe you do. Show me, up there in Space Force One. She raised you on the hollow, not me. Why? Song sensed I'd understand. What with death sentences hanging over both our heads. Sentence was carried out in a way in my case. Somi would have remembered that. Banished from her life for seven years. Left her to her own devices. Contact would have been unwise, so impossible. I played the role I had to. Song knew the truth, though. Knew full well you were no traitor. Well, as I saw it, I was protecting her. Know what your problem is? You find it damn hard to just let go. Open to some advice? 
Stop torturing yourself with shit you can't affect, let alone control. Hmm. Time for me to fly. And honesty, much appreciated, V. Best of luck, Saul. Await contact. I'll ring you when the surgeons are ready. Gotta run. Feel sorry for him? You? Dunno, maybe. Guy's bankrupt, all out of hope. Gonna hang himself. You'll see. Had seven years to do that and didn't. He's got a chance to turn his life around now. Chum lost everything, literally. Just hasn't realized it. Yet. His president proved herself a war criminal. His friend flipped him a fucking club-sized bird. His ideals, bottom of a cesspit, choking on shit. He'll hang himself. Our neurosurgeons have devised the right neural matrix command. You ready to kick that construct to the curb? Okay. Yeah. I'm ready. An FIA AV can pick you up, stat. I just need a meeting point. Preferably secluded. Place called Misty's Esoterica. Roof of the building. Right. We'll be standing by. Oh. 
the FIA to stick their offer where the sun don't shine. Just don't make the call to read. We'll find another way. Do what now? Message. Didn't see it? They want to wipe me. Need me to explain the ins and outs? You knew I'd fight for my life to the end, no matter the price. As obvious to you as it was to me. Call me a chump, but I never thought I'd be that price. Come on, V. Don't make the call.
Agreed. Can't do it. Wouldn't be right. Fuck the FIA. You serious? Wham bam and no dice. Wham bam and no dice. Hmm. Fucking shocking turn of events. I... Uh... Thanks, V. Just... Thanks. Figuring out something that might work versus a surgical procedure. Choice is clear, Johnny. Raise and read on the hollow. Meeting point. You there? Bet I am. Actually, eager to be clinic bound. AV's on his way. It won't be long now. So this is how it ends. How else did you see it playing out? It's my body. Hmm. And it's my life. James Weiss, FIA. I guess you're V, is that right? If I may? It's an honor to meet the woman who rescued the president of the NUSA. Great. Thanks. Where's Reed? Didn't make the trip with you? He got held up, on assignment. Not to worry, you're in good hands. Come on inside. Doc Lozano will evaluate your condition, make sure you're stable. Expecting nothing but the NUS's finest, Mr. Weiss. Lozano, pleasure. I'll be among those operating on you. Let's start with a quick nervous system scan. You mind giving me your personal link? So, how's it looking, Doc? Hmm. I'd say the prognosis is good. Neural network degradation looks reversible. Yet another new lease on life. Mind opening the door? Wanna enjoy the view? Don't worry. You'll be back here in no time. Can never be too sure. Just open it. You shook my hand, Weiss. Indulge me? Survived it once? Do well to remember that. 
If you're ever tossed back in again. Sure, I'll handle it. Slipped up occasionally, but learned a buttload over the last few weeks. Interesting. Because I see someone who's come all this way without learning shit. Congrats. Can feel proud of what you've become. If it was your call, wouldn't think twice about having me killed. How the fuck would you know? Never bothered trying to understand who I am, what I'm about. I understand you well enough. You're a fucking narcissist. Look who's talking. Go ahead, pin the blame on me. Keep that conscience clean and sparkly. Spent your whole life living on a whim, looking out for your ass and your ass alone. Got no right to lecture me, Silverhand. You want me to act like this? Us was just a big nothing burger, and we'll just drift off into sweet slumber. Except only one of us is waking up. You deserve it. Going out like this. How the fuck so? Enlighten me. For starters, you're a narcissist and a sociopath. Only way you can live with yourself is by believing you never do anything wrong. Pinning the blame for your mistakes on others. Know the worst part, though? Nah, but guessing you do. Fuck the system, gung-ho rebel king you so like to think you were. But you self-destructed. See, I didn't kill you. Nor did Arasaka. Your sheer fucking arrogance did, Johnny. Always were your worst enemy. You, your hubris. I've got readings spiking. Strong emotions. Do this. We want your brain burden free. Never know how stress might affect it. You done? That sums it up. Yeah. Said my piece. Made mistakes. I admit it. We all do. But if you think I wanted to be a hero. Then you don't know jack shit about me. City in the dust for good. Even so it's gonna get. But now I think. I think I gotta stay. Take care, V. If there's anything I can do, and I mean anything, all you gotta do is holler. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. Voices? Didn't hear anything but you just now. Afterlife. You there. Eyes, they're opening. I think she sees me now. V, can you hear me? I think I can hear. Time. I was told you got a new job, new duties, lots of them. Busy bear, no time for me. 
Who said that? When? Twice. In the AV. You weren't there. Right, that. Wasn't any reason for me to be there then. Now? Yeah. I felt I owed you this. How do you know when I'd wake? Doctor's estimates. You were supposed to be conscious by today. Tomorrow latest. They started bringing you up a few days ago. Controlled process. So, how's life? How's things? Ah, uh, paperwork. Training recruits. Nothing to write home about. Not your style of work, sounds like. I can manage field work anyway. Not anymore. Need to ask. How's so me? Everything work out all right? I've been cut off from updates for a while now. She's alive. That's all I know. Pretty nice welcome. Just missing flowers and I get wild card. Given I'm here, guess things worked out all right, huh? Never that simple. Doc saved you. You alive? Here in a big ass butt in there. Cause there is one. Deep invasive work on your nervous system. To cut the Angram out safely. What's that even mean? Your neurons can no longer handle most implants. Chrome. Your brain can manage your personal link and simple code processors. But any use of a combat implant, well, it could kill you. I'm sorry, V. But the life you used to know is gone. There's, uh, one other thing. You were out for two years. It's 2079. <laughs> Imagine the future would look a little different. Joke. Shit, I'm impressed. What good would it do to rage at reality? Don't see any sense in it. I wish I could help you, V, but I can't. <laughs> Same shit. Always. Peeps wanting to help me. Never being able to. Why? Are you... Y you all right? I need... I need... Need some hair. <laughs> Legs are... Jelly. Can barely stand. Been laid up for two years, V. Damaged my nervous system. Can hardly believe it. Why, why didn't they use nanobots? Neural matrix. Apparently, you reduced your cells' regenerative capacity. We tried everything. Really? Why? What? what about my chrome? Your implants had been deactivated. It needed to do it. Your survival depended on it. Need to get out of here and see you. When can I go back? Today, if that's your wish. But you should ask yourself... Cream, where's my stuff? 
Be listen to me. Your body, it ain't going back to what it was. And Nancy's a city where you just won't manage. Not anymore. Why the hell you care? We truly appreciate what you did for us. We can set you up with a job here at Langley. And what would I do? Be your assistant, errand rover? I know you're trying to help, but you damn well know that's not for me. I know I'd feel better seeing you off the street. This isn't my life, Reed. But it could be, given your old one is long gone. Please, stop pretending you care. You don't want me here. Neither of us does. Going home. Back to NC. Yeah, sure. Your call. Once you know where you're headed, call the nurse. And if you change your mind, you know where to find me. Reed. Thank you. No need, V. You've got no reason to thank me. No fucking way. Hey, Jude. V, where you been to? In US clinic. Had surgery. That's a long story. Must have been a long operation, too. Gruesome. Bloody. Spent most of that time in a coma. Unplanned, obviously. V. Thought I'd never see you again. Dealing with some drawbacks. I. I'll uh, never fully recover. I'm alive, sure, but. I have no idea what comes next. Shit. Are you serious? Really sorry, V. Hope you figure it out. Get yourself set up again. Thought I could drop by, see you. We'd grab a pizza, talk. You know, a lot's changed. Prem, fresh in sea gossip. <laughs> Can't wait to hear it. V, I'm in Pittsburgh, and I'm married. If you ever hop to the other coast, come on over for a beer, but now, really can't help you. That's not... <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Two years, V. I was lonely, lost in my head. First Evelyn, then you. 
No way I would have made it alone. Gonna miss you. Yeah. But I'm good now, V. Please, don't take that away. Don't have much of a choice, do I? Goodbye, V. And I'm sorry. So, this Netrunner I met got me involved in this FIA op. They promised surgery, cure using the runner's tech in exchange. And it worked. But not without complications. A two-year coma, for one. God damn it. That's a chunk of life there. <laughs> yep. I mean... They saved me, new lease on life, but Chrome's a no-go for me now, even simple muscle boosters. Is that what they told you? Quacks, I bet. They overlook something. I just know it. Come see me, V. Be on my way to see you soon. Usual spot? Yeah. In a manner of speaking. I'll see you, V. You know the address. And that's why I say, you know what? Fuck him sideways! Hang on, guys. Someone grinding your gears again? Holy fuck. V? Or is it Johnny? V. V, it's me. <laughs> The one and only. Fuck me! I can't believe it. <laughs> Goddamn preem you're alive, Joe! Kinda figured you might be happy. How's things, Gary? Hacienda, you're still standing? Who cares about a house? Someplace way preemer right now. Sitting on the Crystal Palace as we speak. Played a gig yesterday, had this beaut fucking view of Europe. Shit. V, wish you were here. Yeah, I... not really in a partying mood right now. Okay, Spill. Sums up. Well, just woke up from a two-year coma. Gee, shit. Can you not, June? Is that not clear? Yeah, care? Did you uh, hear yeah. what I... Yeah. Did you say coma? Yeah. Uh, got surgery. That's why I'm alive, but... Didn't work out. Not completely. Fuck. I... Damn, I'm sorry. It sounds like shit. You need anything? Uh, Eddie's maybe, or... Need a friend, Care. Really rather not be alone right now. What the now. hell did I say, Yuki? Let him fucking tune! I don't need to hold their hand, as long as it's all harmony. Kiri? V. <sighs> you know I'd love to help. I really would. But I... I just can't swing it. Playing Paris tomorrow, then Kiev. If not for the tour, I'll be flying your way already. What do you think? Can I see you again? Shit, of course you will! Listen, as soon as I'm back, come on over. We'll go wherever you want. Give me a couple of months. Or... Okay, you uh, four. Four tops. Deal? Sure. Deal. Yeah, right. 
Listen, V, in the middle of something, kind of. I gotta go. They're calling me back on stage. But, yeah, you, you wanna shoot the shit later? Hit me up on the hollow. No damn way. River, it's me. Me who? Well, uh, B, obviously. Is it obvious? How do I know I'm not speaking to Silverhand? Stop fussing around. The I knew wouldn't have waited two years to return a call. What'd you expect to hear after all this time? Sorry. Would've let you know if I'd known I'd be gone that long. Okay. I understand. An accident. Anomaly. Shouldn't blame you for it. Been a little touchy lately. Sorry. You okay? Getting this vibe that something's wrong. Honestly. Everything is. What's going on? I needed money for Randy's rehab. So I did a deal with Trauma. Sold them a pile of police secrets. Dirt on whoever they wanted. Clearly didn't have any other options. How could you possibly know that? I know you. Would have done it differently if you'd had a choice. I don't know. I'd like to believe that, but... Fuck, River. Now I feel bad. Can we meet? Help each other out? Too late for that. What? Rather not see me? Wait a sec, River. You have reached Pan Am Palmer. We're sorry, the subscriber is currently outside the service area. Please leave a message or call again later. Pan Am, hey. Been a while since we saw each other. It was a lot longer than I thought or wanted. Guess you're away somewhere. Hope it's temporary. A waypoint. Not outright nomadic flight. So, brass tacks. I had surgery. Docs just brought me out of a coma. Gonna live. New lease and all. But... Not on the greatest terms. It'd just be great right now. Really great if I could see you. You... Find a moment. Ring me back. Yeah? See you... soon. Night City. Can I get a flight there? Of course. An AV is ready and waiting. I'll come get you now. Back on your feet. It's nice to see that finally. Perfect. Exactly the one I had in mind. I love it. 
bit. Sorry. Zoned out for a sec. That's quite all right. Night City can indeed overwhelm the occasional newcomer. Might I ask how you feel? Like an outcast. Feels like just yesterday I was part and parcel of this town. Now I'm a goddamn tourist. My deepest apologies. We've only met once before. Hence my hasty conclusion that you're not a native. Indeed, Night City has since changed quite significantly. How's Biz, Del? Betty's flowing in? Very kind of you to ask. I cannot complain. I am now a proud partner of the illustrious trauma team. And, uh, private life? Blooming? I do apologize, but it is a policy of mine never to discuss personal matters with clients. We met before, Adele. You just don't remember because of that data reboot. If you say so. But don't believe me? I have no reason to disbelieve you. I am merely of the opinion that this information changes mood. I think we could swing by my place. What's up? It appears you were evicted a year ago due to unpaid rent. I'm afraid I cannot fulfill your request. <sighs> Fuck me. Been a while since I was last here. What else has changed? The most significant is Arasaka pulling the bulk of its operations out of Night City. I imagine you could be interested in hearing the latest news. I shall turn on the radio. And now, this week's scorching hot question, Yorinobu Arasaka, what happened? Joining us today, Masao Adams, author of Arasaka's biography, A Dragon Tamed. Glad to have you on the show. It's a pleasure to be here, Stan. An Arasaka spokesperson recently announced that Yorinobu has stepped down as CEO. True or big, fat baloney? Well, Stan, we're talking about a man who once went into voluntary familial exile to join a nomad clan in direct conflict with his own father's agents. The idea that someone like him would remove themselves from the picture is just not plausible. So you're suggesting he had help, but then to what end? I think it's simple. Yorinobu deliberately tried to destroy Arasaka. His biography attests to that. Eventually, the board woke up and proceeded to excise this saboteur within. Oh, fascinating theory. One all you listeners can read all about in Masao Adams' latest book, The Prodigal Phoenix. Guess the borough was right. The nail that protrudes from the wall gets hammered. Perhaps competent management of a corporation was neither his passion nor aim. Or maybe folks are using conspiracy theories to explain away his incompetence. Another possibility, indeed. Arasaka's on the back foot, huh? It appears so. Other corporations have wasted no time in attempting to fill the void. Well, Johnny... <laughs> You got your wish. Arasaka's on the way out. Except it's like playing whack a corp. Hit one, three others pop up. Uh, are you talking to me? No, to myself. It doesn't matter. Thank you for choosing this Delamain service. I shall wait going? here for your return. One last thing, if I may. We all eventually run out of fuel, but that hardly means the journey wasn't pleasant. Hey, girl, hold up. Ah, oh, come on. Do we gotta? You're not from around here, are you? Was born in this town. Can't be more from around here than that. Oh, really? Then why I never seen you over at Gabrielle's? Don't know no, Gabrielle. 
See that? I knew it. Welcome to our Zeta Tech Network Clinic. How may I help you? Here to see Victor. Mind if I go through? Do you have an appointment? Yeah, private one. Ah, right. I see a note right here. Please hurry in. The next patient is due to arrive soon. Make me wear this damn thing. Something about meeting safety standards. Doubt it, given I almost got a brain hemorrhage on seeing it. Ha! <laughs> You're making a habit of this. Rising from the dead. I actually thought I'd never see you again. Come on. It'll make me cry, Vic. What would be wrong with that? Anyway, got you a little something. They have this rule, no drinking anywhere in the clinic. I could get reprimanded. Ooh. Well, hang on a minute. Oh, same one Jack and I knocked back. Championship bout for the middleweight title. Malone versus Kano. Remember it as if it was yesterday. Damn. Feels like another life. Yeah. Good times. Things changed. No denying it. Jackie's gone. So's Missy's shop. <laughs> and all her sense. <sighs> all right. Come on. Hop in the chair. So... Misty. What happened? She, uh, moved out not so long ago. Well, almost. It drops in occasionally to collect another box of straggling sundries. Visits are rarer and rarer, though. What you actually aim to do? We'll start with a solid scan of your body. Relax. This'll take a moment. Okay, let's get to this. <laughs> That's the attitude. So tell me, what's it like to be back among the living? What can I say? The world, life, they moved on. Didn't wait around for me. You're all I got left. I know where you're coming from. You reach my age, you can find you have nothing in common with those you considered near and dear. Your case? Age ain't exactly the only change. What are you trying to say exactly? The Zeta Tech thing. How'd you wind up caught in their web? There was pressure, some threats even. Uh, resisting change seemed senseless. Why? Did you decide you were incapable? There came a day I realized my losses could be higher if I put my foot down. Something tells me Misty didn't go along with this. And that's why she left. You mind if we leave that alone? Am I wrong? She is the sensitive sort. Changes unpleasant ones happening all around her. She stopped feeling good here. And no wonder. I miss her. Hope things work out for her. Hope they work out for all of us. 
think we could have chosen better? All of us? No. Hmm. No hesitation. If there'd been better options, we'd have picked them. Or convinced ourselves they weren't better at all. Vic, sensible as ever. And with achievable dreams. I never could settle on those. You'll learn. If you say so. Well, your core looks fine. Good even. Let's take a look at your motor cortex. Say I like that, hmm. First time I've seen anything like this. Your cortex seems to have turned deaf to implant signals. Maybe reinstall the neuroport firmware. No, no, that did Maybe switch to binary signaling. That's a risk of shock. Life-threatening kind. Said you could do something, Vic. I... I was wrong. I'm sorry. Please, don't worry, Vic. Didn't come with high hopes anyway. Not good. You have to believe there's something out there for you. Self-delusion? That's what you advise? No. I just want you to accept your reality. You've changed, yes. But you're alive. Look at me. I had to adapt too. Still doing what I most love though. Just two years. You may not see it. Time's passed differently for me, so. I do see it. You're plain unhappy. Pretending to be your former self. You really think so? Vector, come on quick. I ran into trouble. Need surgery. It's m <clears throat> Ah, are you running late? I can't now, Tyler. Drop in tomorrow. Drop in tomorrow? This is my friend. No affiliation to the firm. Come back later, please. It's important to me. <clears throat> you got it wrong, man. You're on contract. Tyler, well, please. Was on my way out, so. Ugh. V. You can't know how sorry I am. Vector! Hey, swing by to see me anytime, yeah? Of course. Of course, I'll drop by. Close the door on your way out, okay? I need to look to Tyler's pressing problem here. Guess you landed in some kind of shit store. Well, well. See that, Jimmy? She a corporal rat. Chill, man. Easy. Come on, hand over your scratch. Let's go. Not a suit. Not a corporal. Take me for a fool, fool? Clinic you just waltz out of Zeta Tech. Eddie's player, now. Drop it. Leave me alone. Hmm. Uh. Nope. Show me the money. Know a few peeps here. They'd see this as a fucking problem. Some boss dog gonna scare me? <laughs> Padre instills a fear of God and man. <laughs> oh, rogue cooped on Las Haywood. I don't think so. Booyah!
see? But you... What happened to you? <clears throat> Misty? Easy now. Are you in one piece? Damn. <laughs> no chance I'd recognize you on the street. A jacket you're wearing. Jackie's? Yeah. You look almost the same. A bit wilted, maybe, but... Yeah. Time kind of stopped for me. What's up with you? Feeling okay? What are you even doing here? Heard you moved out and on. Pretty much. Just got some things to wrap up. But tell me, what's with you? Honestly... <clears throat> Fucking hopeless. Just got thrashed by two lame-ass thugs. But why didn't you defend yourself? Couldn't. I... <sighs> Long story. Oh, is that the relics doing? I know I should be worried, but honestly, I'm just so glad to see you. Missed you so much, Misty. Though it feels like I saw you last Tuesday. Just two years, V. Blink of an eye for the universe. It must be hard for you, I know. But hardships pass, too. As all things. Probably got it right. Just darn hard to believe right this second. You saw what happened. Can't even stand up to a couple of random dipsos. Where do I go from here? You'll learn to live like us regular folk. Avoid dark alleys, run when you hear gunfire. Not much more to it. <laughs> Mate, you're bread and butter. Welcome to the world of the faces in the crowd, V. My ride will be here soon, but I still got a minute or two to talk. I really missed you, you know? Where are you going? Orbital air terminal. Then to Poland. To this really ancient forest there. Hmm. Setting out to find yourself? Find some work, actually. I'll roam the wilderness. Ticket hikers for feeding candy to bison. I need a break from the city. And the crowds. Come by to see Victor before leaving. Vic said you weren't okay with the changes. Said you parted ways. Yeah? Interesting way of putting it. Actually, I told him he'd gone soft, and I had no intention of following suit. Man. <laughs> of all people. Never thought I'd see you leaving Night City. Strange story, actually. You know what made me decide to leave? Take your cue from your cards? Nah, it wasn't the cards. Close, though. My favorable store burned down one day. Went there to buy some white sage and... So a charred mess instead. It was then I realized nothing's the same anymore. Jackie was gone, hewed up and ghosted. I decided to close the esoterica on the spot. I couldn't help other people find balance if I'd lost it myself. <sighs> Sorry, Misty. Wish I could help you, I do. You have helped. By staying alive. <laughs> you know what, Missy? Thanks. Likewise, V. Don't know what comes next, Misty. What to do? Nothing makes sense anymore. That was me yesterday. Had no hope anything good would ever happen to me again. But it did? Mm-hmm. Turned out that an old friend of mine is still alive. Huh. 
<sighs> FIA offered me a job. Well, it could be a place to plant your butt for a while. What are you thinking? To me, it'd be early retirement at a desk. Retirement does mean rest, I suppose. I still think you have other options. Probably lots. <laughs> know what? I think you're right. No point in giving up. Maybe... Dunno, I'll be a fixer. A change in your outlook's what you need first. Won't make it otherwise. Faces in the crowd. Their world, V. Remember that. A face in the crowd. So, somewhere to start anew? Gonna go looking? Huh. So many places I've yet to see. Maybe leaving is the best option. Might actually find the new me somewhere out there. If you land in a certain ancient forest in Poland, I'll help you look. My ride will be here soon. Walk me to it. again, I guess. Hope so. Oh, V. Do you still have that pendant I gave you? I... Uh, must have misplaced it. Don't go looking for it. Doesn't matter anymore. V. So, you went and beat the biochip, and in a manner of speaking, Johnny. <laughs> Love to throw us for a loop, don't you, kid? The word is it cost you rather dearly. Sorry to hear that. Truly. Used to be quite a lot of talk about your exploits at the afterlife. Even had a few folks gunning for you to have your own concoction on the menu. Maybe we leave them secure in their convictions. Maybe that's better. Don't get me wrong, doors always open. You'll always be welcome at my club. But your legend, well, could wilt a bit more with each visit. Give it a think. Not as if we'd ever forget you, you know? I know you are in Night City and in good health. No more biochip in your head. Congratulations, V. Much time has passed. I did not know what to tell you. I needed the 
words of old samurai. He expressed my thoughts. Good, strong medicine is bitter to the mouth. When you disappeared, I and Hanako-sama confronted Yorinobu. His allies, we tried to capture Arasaka Tower. We could not. They were strong. Hanako-sama is dead. I am called her murderer. I have been hiding for two years. My life is now the trash heap. Where I found you, I wish for you to know this. You are very strong medicine, he. V, hey! Uh, I'll keep this short, huh? Uh, listen, it's... It's nice you tried to reach out to Pan Am. It's, it's good to know that you're, you're whole, you're, you're all right. But, um, well, don't expect her to return your call, no. And, and, and don't try her again, if you can. When you uh, disappeared, it took her a while to get back on her feet. She's, she's not one to get attached, but when she does, the hurt comes damn easily. Uh... Now, I know it's not what you intended, so I'm counting on your understanding. You shouldn't do that to yourself, to her. So just don't call. I look back at times and what happened. Think about you, Songbird. We did right, that I know. Why do I keep asking myself if I could have done things differently? You saw what she's capable of. I had to stop her. And maybe, maybe punish myself. Is that it? It fucking hurts, but it should hurt, shouldn't it? Avi, it didn't quite work out in our last talk, huh? What do you say to giving it another try? We'll drink some beers, watch a legacy fight. Downtime to look back upon fondly in our new lives. They're looking to redo the clinic. Sending me off to Frisco of all places. <sighs> A new beginning for everybody, I guess. Though I have to say some proper closure could make it all easier to bear. It would, for me at least. You think you'd be up for that? 